Hi, I'm Lisa, and today I'm going to show you different ways that you can print in white. And when I say white, I mean white ink, like text, a physical, actual document that you hold in your hand, not a graphic. So sometimes you have a dark background like this, and you would like the text to appear white, like so. So the first thing you can do is simply make all of the text paper. And when I say paper, this is actually a color choice inside of InDesign up here in the swatch, it is paper. Paper is white. Now, the important thing to notice is that it's going to appear white on your screen, but paper is not actually white. You need a white ink printer. So your printer does not print white. This is white because you're feeding a white sheet of paper through your printer, and this background, this blue background right here, is providing the contrast. So if I put a yellow piece of paper into my printer and printed this particular page that we're looking at, this area right here would not have any ink in it, so it would be yellow. Same thing if I put a blue sheet of paper, it would be whatever color the blue sheet is. So this isn't ideal mostly because it uses up a ton of toner or ink in order to make the entire page blue, and it's possible you already have colored paper, so you don't really need that. So let's talk about another option, which is using a white foil uh, laminator. So you can laser print this in black, it doesn't even matter, and then take this sheet out, apply a white foil, and then put it through a laminator or a Heidi Swap mink machine, and it will adhere white. Now, it doesn't, if you've ever actually tried this, it, the quality really isn't there. I think the white ink is very difficult to use, and sometimes uh, the white ends up bleeding onto different areas. So I don't know that this is ideal, uh, so I wouldn't really suggest this. Another way to do this, especially if it's something important like a wedding invitation, I would suggest using option three, which is you can make the background image whatever color you want, and then the text has to be white. Now, it can't be white. Remember I told you this up here. This is paper. Paper is not white. You actually must create a spot color of white. So then you can feed the paper into your printer, and this paper can be any color you want, except white, because obviously white and white is not going to show up. Um, and then your printer that you're feeding this white paper, or this colored paper through, has to be a white ink printer. Now, I realize not everybody has a white ink printer. They're very expensive. I believe they're only available commercially. Uh, so you're probably going to send it in to somebody who has the ability to print white ink. Uh, this is what I'm saying for option four, is to send it to a professional printer, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of things. But you know, if you are somebody who is turning out a ton of white ink uh, pair, uh, stationery or prints, then you should definitely invest in a white ink printer.